You might say my DM is blowing up over guys I don't even want. But you invited that into the world. We have to be responsible for our own energy. If someone is trying to socially connect with you because they find you appealing, that's normal. If you're ex- going about it in an explicit way of exposing yourself and someone's addressing you in an inappropriate way, that's normal. Is it right? No, it's not right. But is it normal? Sure. People ride the waves that you send out. So if you're sending out that certain wave, you got to expect that. Why nobody wants to treat, take me serious? Was you advertising anything serious? Well, that's just Facebook or Instagram. True. But first impressions could be everything. And number two, you can't control what people read into pictures. You can only respond after they comment. So you have to be more intentional about securing your emotions. Don't secure the bag. Secure your emotions. Because you could spin all the way out of control and get so lost that you don't even know where to start. And so when you look at sex appeal, you have to know, number one, why you're delivering that message out. Number two, what you want in return. Number three, making sure your emotions are intact. You can be a full-figured hourglass woman. And wear a trash bag. And someone will still see your shape. There's no need to get on IG and be penniless for the sake of likes. Because that same like could cost you love from somebody that really is capable of loving you. Loving you as an individual. Loving you for who you are. That attention attracts some people. And sends some people far away from you. Because if you can expose your body completely like that. 20 times out of 20. They don't feel that you can. Take their emotions. and, And keep it close and private to yourself are you going to abuse it and expose it like you expose yourself and you might think that's not that that's that's too far that's too deep it might be for some but for others it's right on point this week I'm dealing with image coaching Mainly because we're starting this year off. And though it's a new year, it's still the same you. And however intact your emotions are, when you're doing stuff and when you're not doing stuff, is very key to your success. Because you'll find yourself over explaining certain things because of the exposure you have given to social media or to society and at the same time you can be investing in your success reading a book to encourage and strengthen you if you're emotionally off seeking coaching connecting with others using accountability venting scaling back though you can type your fingers really quick and hit send though you can upload and post real quick it doesn't mean everything is for everybody image culture be mindful cause you can start hurting yourself you can get hopeless and wanna 
resolve your life. And I'm here to tell you, if you get to that point where you're sp- you're spun out and you done exposed so much, there's never a point where you can't scale back. You could do damage control, count your losses. Okay, there's thousands of people done seen it. So what? I want to be different. You got to remember, trends will come and go. So what? Everybody's wearing a see-through shirt. Or very explicit pictures they're posting. After that trend goes, can you live with you? That's what you have to ask. Trends are normal. They happen. But you don't want to ride ride the, the waves of trends. Because when they fade out, you got to have you intact. This is the purpose for having image coaching. To have a certain message being sent out without even opening your mouth. Some people's profession is to be explicit. And they get paid that money for being explicit. And that's a whole nother topic. But you, on the other hand, you're getting likes. You're getting DMs. And sometimes, if not more than less, it's stuff that you really don't want and really don't attend to. All you do is want some good, positive affirmation. But when you start exposing yourself so far where people start seeing things that they would, they should see in a bedroom with you, you have to. Anticipate inappropriateness because you're delivering an inappropriate image. This is image coaching. I love advising people on their image because it's very simple. And it's the iceberg effect. Whatever, when you think of an iceberg and you see a little chip. Above surface, underneath, it could be a completely large amount underneath. And so your actions, your disposition, what you present to the world could be very small above water. But underneath, it could be another part that could be so big, and that's emotions. Know why you do what you do. And when you do what you do... Know why people respond the way they respond. Be well acquainted with things. Be familiar with them. Because if you don't like certain responses that you pre-calculated, it allow you to scale back. It's getting a little bit too far gone. Things that you used to send to your significant other, someone that you deem very close to you, you would send them very intimate, sometimes explicit pictures. But now it's gotten to a point where people are just uploading them online because there's no significant person. So if at least if I get 2,000 likes, 3,000 likes, 20,000 likes, I have that. But is that what you really want? Because that moment will go away. This is image coaching. It's certain attire that complements your body in a way that brings off a sex appeal that no explicit picture can match with. And it also depends on where you're at in life. If you're looking for a committed relationship, a husband, looking. In your mind, meaning anticipating it, not acting on it and interviewing because a man finds a wife, a woman finds a, a, a stable man. This is image coaching. You have to think about these things. You have to. 
Because some things are just normal responses. Some things are just normal steps in a process. And if you don't like those steps, then it starts with you. It starts with you. This is a heavy topic that needs to be handled in such a way that after you finish listening to this podcast, really think back on why you do what you do and what you want really sent out into the world. It's okay to wear a tire that accents your figure. That accents complement your figure. But it's too far gone when what you would do in a bedroom you're doing on public social media platforms. Scale back. Catch yourself. Don't lose yourself emotionally. It's very key in your, the success of you and what you're doing in life. Very key. Let's grow in 2019. Let's look at this month of January. Take all these things that I've been saying. We'll start with a strong step into the future. And move forward and be great. This concludes this topic on image coaching sex appeal this is life coaching with ink i have a special guest a treat for y'all i'm actually a fan of the world of cosmetics where people are doing things to improve their body i'm not totally against it In fact, I'm not against it at all. Anything in moderation is good. Anything in excess becomes a liability. So I have a special treat, an expert coming in to speak with y'all on Thursday. Tune in as we continue this road on self-love, Growth, understanding, information, and just start considering things. No one can stand over you and be your mother or your father. You are your own individual. And you are your own individual. However, suggestions can come through your path. And this podcast serves as it. This closes out this episode on image coaching sex appeal.